This video reviews electrocardiographic changes seen with atrial fibrillation. During this section, we define atrial fibrillation, briefly describe the pathophysiology of atrial fibrillation, and provide an analogy for what the electrocardiogram machine sees. With atrial fibrillation, there are many micro reentrant foci within the atria that conduct at atrial rates greater than 350 beats per minute. The ECG shows typical fibrillatory waves which can be coarse or fine. When you look at the baseline, you don't see organized P wave activity, but rather erratic activity. The baseline seems to look squiggly. The AV node is being bombarded by over 350 impulses per minute and cannot handle them all. In general, the AV node can only let through between 110 and 180 beats per minute, and therefore in a typical healthy AV node, you will see a rapid ventricular response. Since the impulses are coming so fast and from so many different sites, the ventricular response occurs at intermittent times and the QRS complexes appear irregularly irregular. Here is an analogy of what happens at the AV node that explains why the ventricular response occurs the way it does. I'll start by outlining what happens in normal sinus rhythm and then extrapolating to atrial fibrillation. In this scenario, I picture the heart as a tennis court with a person in the middle. The person represents the AV node, which I describe as the gatekeeper. In normal sinus rhythm, I start by showing a single ball machine here. This represents a sinoatrial node. The gatekeeper's job is to receive the ball from the machine, look at the other court to make sure things are okay, and then throw the ball in. Normal sinus rhythm is represented by the ball machine shooting about 80 balls per minute at the person at the net. In this case, the gatekeeper is quite good at grabbing the ball, checking, and throwing. Now imagine that instead of one ball machine, there are 10 ball machines located in different positions around the court. Each ball machine sends balls to the gatekeeper as fast as they can. The gatekeeper attempts to catch and throw as many balls as he can, as fast as he can, but can only go at a certain speed. Of the more than 350 balls that are hitting him each minute, he may be able to get and throw 120 to 180 of them. He'll catch one ball from here and throw it, then catch one from here and throw it, and then one from here. Some he'll get, some he'll miss. His catching, missing, and throwing will be erratic and intermittent. This is what happens to the AV node with atrial fibrillation. The AV node is bombarded by over 350 impulses from all over the atria. It can handle about 150 of them, but cannot handle all of them. Hence, we see an irregularly irregular rhythm that is fast. Now let's see what we can do to help the gatekeeper and subsequently the AV node. In my analogy, a way to help the gatekeeper is to make him sleepy or lethargic. Once in this state, the gatekeeper does not care if he is being pelted with all of the tennis balls. It doesn't hurt anymore. Furthermore, he doesn't care how many balls he catches and throws into the other court. If he catches and throws 80 balls per minute, he is quite happy. This is the same with the atrioventricular node. In general, the goal is to make it sleepy or lethargic. To do this, we might give medications like beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or digoxin. These agents slow the AV node and essentially make it so it doesn't care. Instead of conducting 120 to 180 beats per minute, it will conduct 60 to 100 beats per minute. If the patient is taking medications that slow the AV node, or the patient's AV node is diseased, then the ventricular response may be 60 to 100 beats per minute. In this case, we refer to this as atrial fibrillation with a controlled ventricular response. If the QRS complexes are going at less than 60 beats per minute, we refer to this as atrial fibrillation with a slow ventricular response. 
Thank you for watching this video on atrial fibrillation. This is just one section from the complete video on atrial arrhythmias found within EEE, Executive Electrocardiogram Education. The full set of videos, 39 in all, go over ECG criteria and more importantly, go through a step-by-step -step approach to reading the electrocardiogram. Please click on our link or visit us at ecgedu.com to create an account and to watch more sample videos.